Mission here with another short little instructional video on the quick dump valve that I use in my little marshmallow launcher and on the big brother for it, the big t-shirt launcher, or potato cannon, or apple cannon, or nerf ball launcher, or whatever I want to toss out of it. Uh, I've got a thread on spud files and I've got a thread on crazy builders covering a lot of the details on how this cannon works. This video is more along the lines of actually how to build it. There's been some people not wanting to take on a project like this because I don't have a machine shop. Well, I don't have a machine shop. That's my excuse too, but it didn't stop me. So, yeah, with that in mind, let's go over the valve. The valve is basically the little uh, spool valve that gets an o-ring on each side. We Making one of these is, can be done on a drill press. You don't need a lathe for that. There was a discussion in the forum on that, so I won't go into too much detail on how to cut those. But a lot of people, when they get around stuff that looks like mach nice machined metal parts, they think they need a machine shop. And for some of this stuff, you don't need a machine shop. And that's what this video specifically covers. The inside of this valve pipe and the valve body is very very nice and smooth but when you buy pipe a little larger size so you can see it they don't come that way they don't come nice and smooth and ready to be a valve cylinder so without a machine shop how do we go about fixing that well like you do in a lot of woodworking and body finishing and so forth you sand it I know it sounds like a lot of work and, well frankly it is but anyway in order to get in there and sand in there, we don't want to just stick our fingers in a long length of pipe and try sanding, so it can be a little bit difficult. Um, what you need is an aid or some way to get a sanding block in there that's the right size and shape. And the easy solution to that is simply a piece of pipe. Now, getting a piece of pipe with a piece of sandpaper on it in there you got to come up with a way to get the sandpaper stuck to the pipe. And what I use for that, down at my local hardware store, they have what's called stick-on sandpaper. Some hardware stores don't carry it. It pays to look around and see if you can find it, but this stuff is wonderful for making these valves. You take a piece of pipe, I mean, yeah, a piece of pipe, stick the sandpaper onto it, form it around, and you can simply put it inside of your pipe and start sanding. This is pretty much an all-day project for a two-inch valve and you want to be sure to sand all of the area completely smooth that the o-ring would be traveling over during normal operation of the valve and that basically covers that part. In the actual creation of the valve the other part people look at the ports that I had in the pipe and say I don't have a machine shop I can't make the ports. That's not too difficult to do either. The way the ports were made is uh, they were laid out and measured. I'm not going to do that for this short video. But when the ports are laid out on the pipe, I just took a hacksaw and cut the horizontal cuts at the ends where there's this vertical part. You can't get a hacksaw in there and cut that. So that was actually removed by using a drill and you drill, yep, extend the lead here. You drill a great big old hole right there on one end and on the other end and the piece falls out. It's not that difficult to make big rectangular shaped ports in a pipe to make the uh, quick dump valve. So that's a short instructional how-to on creating the quick dump valve part ports and the valve cylinder nice and smooth for a good seal.